Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. Thanks for joining us and looking forward to sharing another quick tip. If you'd love to tap the subscribe button, that would really help and you'll get all of the latest videos pushed straight out to you as they're created. So let's jump in to our new tip of the day. So let's take a look at how we can model an approach to using breakout rooms on an iPad, utilizing Teams as an approach to have the breakout rooms, but developing a little bit further by having a space collaboratively for students to be able to work and share their thoughts and ideas beyond just the words that they share over the video. So we're gonna jump into Teams. And if you've looked at the other video that you can check out via this link, you'll remember that we looked at how we can set up this idea of having a general space which is where all students would join. And then we created these breakout spaces that if a student clicks on on their device will take them to their breakout space that's just for those students. And we looked at how we needed to make those private, etc. So again, check out the video that we made about how to do this. So let's add in some extra features to this. Yes, it's great that students will be able to have that face-to-face -face conversation um, via the Teams link so they can have that uh, interaction. But let's enhance that slightly by having a place where they can sketch down ideas and ultimately somewhere that they can share their thoughts um, with other groups, with other breakout groups, um, and to you as the teacher. So this is what I would do as I go through this process. And there are lots of ways to do this. I'm going to show a couple of different methods that you can use using different apps. Um, but this is definitely something where the iPad makes this a really, really smooth kind of transition. So the first thing I'm going to look at is, let's imagine I'm using Numbers for this. Numbers is a, is a spreadsheet tool that you might be familiar with. But actually, we can utilize this um, as a really great, great place to allow students to share information. I'm going to come into numbers, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet, and I'm just going to choose a blank spreadsheet. And actually, I'm going to delete the spreadsheet element um, out of this sheet. And what I'm going to do then is just make multiple sheets. Let's imagine I've got four breakout groups. So what I'm going to do here is just make sure that I've selected the sheet itself, delete all of the, the contents, so delete that table on each one and I need to rename the sheet so I've selected the, the sheet that I want to change you see it's highlighted green if I tap then on the paintbrush over here I can change that name and I'm just going to say this is going to be breakout group one and I could add an emoji in here there's lots of the fun things you can do with this and I can even change the background here if I want it to you know to be a different color to make it more engaging for the students etc but just th those features are there if you want to use them and then I'd repeat that process for each one. So here, this one's going to be breakout group two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so you can continue going through that whole process. The, the next feature here, and the reason why I'm going to use numbers is because now I kind of have this kind of infinite board that I can I can share ideas on from a student point of view, um, if they're using an Apple Pencil or a stylus of any form, um, they can share notes just by writing on the screen, they can add pictures, they can add text, you know, all of the, the things that you've seen before, if you watch any of the other numbers videos, getting started with numbers, these are some great things, you know, drawings, record their voice, if I just wanted to add a, you know, here's such and such and a thought idea, whatever, and they can add that in. So lots and lots of great ways that they can share information. So it's a whiteboard as well as a text place, as well as, you know, I can add videos, etc. So what I'm now going to do is think about how I'm going to share this with my students. So in order to do that, I need to make this a collaborative document. So I tap on the plus, and you see that gives me the option to uh, share this document and how I want to share this document. So I tap on the share options. First of all, I want anyone with a link to be able to make changes. You can add a password as well if you really want to. And then I'm just going to tap on Teams. I'm not sure I understand. Thank you, Siri. And here you can see that I've got my link. Okay, now, depending on your setup in your school or institution, you might be able to find your channel specifically in here. In this case, I've got my breakout spaces. So I can tap on breakout space and I can just add that directly to that breakout space. If you haven't got it set up in that way, you can just copy that link um, and share that. So I'll do that as well. So I'm just going to copy the link. I'll send this one. That's now going to start that collaboration in that breakout space. And then I'll show you how I would, you know, if I just needed to copy the link as well. So if I tap on Teams, if I just go to General um, or to, to a specific group, 
I can just tap new post and I'm going to paste that link in there. There we go. So that's how I've created that kind of shared space. And now from that student's point of view, if they tap on that, it's going to take them straight through to that shared space, meaning that they've got access to it. Now, the other thing that you can do, and again, there are lots of approaches you can do this. I can do it exactly the same using the Microsoft Whiteboard app. So if I jump into the Whiteboard app, go through the same process, I'm going to create a new Whiteboard, I'm going to tap on the Share Collaborate, and then I'm going to copy that link, turn the web link sharing on, copy the link, come back into Teams, and again, I can just tap, type a new message, paste that link in, and there we go, there we have that shared uh, whiteboard space. That if we just jump back, it's just going to take us straight to this. If I just come back to done, if I tap on that link, you'll see it's going to take me straight through to that space. Okay, so that's how we can utilize kind of collaborative spaces. Now, depending on how you want to use it, whether you want to use uh, the whiteboard space in this case, um, you know, is going to allow you to, to do drawing directly on, um, allows you to add in text, notes, etc., etc or if you're using Apple's uh, numbers, allows me to structure it, maybe scaffold it a little bit more. Uh, personally, for me, the benefit of numbers here is that I can put a background on this and actually can scaffold the learning, whereas the whiteboard is, is gonna be more of a blank template. Completely up to you how you want to utilize these things, but we're just showing the possibility. What this also enables the students to do is actually then to be able to see what the other groups have done. So then we can start to build discussion as a whole group about individual people's um, thoughts and inputs. But that's how you're going to put it together. That's how we can utilize the breakout rooms in Teams and also give them a shared collaborative space in order to do shared thought process and get some information down um, on their devices. So let's take a look at how that works in practice, thinking about split screen, because I want to be able to make notes on my device at the same time as I'm listening to my group discussion and sharing my thoughts. So one simple thing that we can do is to utilize split screen on the iPad. So if I slide up from the bottom, showing the recently used uh, apps that I've had, Teams being this one here. If I tap that app, drag it up, place it to the side, release, you'll see that I now have access to Teams and I can go into that conversation 